Hi, this is Esteban Gutierrez, and this is my guide to the Melbourne Grand Prix circuit. So here we are, crossing the line for the start of the lap. A maximum speed into turn one. Very late braking, almost right before turning. You want to use a little bit of the apex curve, but you want to use as much as possible on the exit to get as much speed as possible. Then here, it's crucial uh, to get the DRS properly done, braking 100 meters, well uh, positioned on the apex to get a good exit line as you want to use as much as possible of the apex here. Um, and also on the exit, which makes it a bit tricky on the sausage curve. Pretty straightforward high-speed corner. With this car, we have so much time for now. Next one, it's similar to turn one, fourth gear, as much as possible entry speed and using everything on exit. This one, you want to break a little bit after the 100 meter mark. Um, and then exit, it's a bit tricky, which you have a little bit of lateral load. Combined traction, which usually heats up a bit your tires. As we approach the high speed corner, you want to position the car as close as possible to the wall. Have a good line on entry, use as much as possible on the, on the apex of the curb. And you want to, your car to react really well for change of direction to, to get a good line on the second part. Very straightforward um, corner, 90 degree. And as we approach the last uh, section of the, of the track, you usually have your tires a bit overheated. So here on the hairpin, you want to position your car well for exit as you have another high speed corner, which it's sometimes tricky. That's a lap of Melbourne.